base clef and grand staff. As we learned in Theory 1, Module 2, Lesson 3, the bass clef is used to notate pitches in the lower half of the piano's range and for lower pitched instruments. Check out that lesson if you'd like a more detailed review of the bass clef and the grand staff. Rather than marking where G is, as the treble clef does, it marks the location of the F below middle C. Though originally an F clef could be placed wherever you wanted, today it is placed such that the two dots go above and below, thus marking the F line. The landmark system works in the same way as it does with treble clefs. So counting up and down from that F, you'll find all the letter name notes, which are laid out like this. As with the treble clef, you may find it easier to group all these notes into line notes and space notes, or you may just use F and the bottom G as landmarks. Here are the line notes and space notes. Some of the popular mnemonics for these are, for space notes, all cows eat grass. And for line notes, good boys do fine always. But of course, you'll remember these much more easily by making up your own catchy mnemonics. And now the grand staff. The grand staff is a larger two-part staff used by instruments with wide ranges. It consists of one treble staff and one bass staff joined by a brace. Here's what an empty grand staff looks like. And once we add the notes of the bass and treble clefs to that staff, we can see that it actually covers a pretty wide range of keys on the piano. Here's a little drawing that superimposes part of the piano keyboard on the notes as written. You can see that there's a bit of overlap in the notes, because really, the treble clef is just a continuation of the same note mapping system that the bass clef gives us. The only difference in the clefs is in which note they are using as a landmark. Mm -hmm.